Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here. Let's continue with today's GFG Theory this week. Today's question name is reach a given score. So this question says that we have been given a game where the player can score 3, 5 or 10 points. So there are only 3 particular points a player can score in a move. Given a total score of and find the number of distinct combination to reach the given score. Okay, so uh, there's an important statement they have made that we need to find the distinct combinations and not the permutations, right? Let us see the input and output. For, for 10, they have said their output is 2, that is 5, comma 5 and 10. Similarly, for 20, they have given the output like this. And if you see, they have specifically said combinations, right? Not permutations, because um, this is a combination, right? If I if I unjumble this particular answer, like 5 comes in between of all the particular 3, then also that would be a valid answer, but that, that would be a permutation and not a combination. So they want a unique, unique answers, right? So let me just explain you a bit more. So what I'm saying is that for this case, uh, specifically for this case where their answer is three comma, three comma, how many times are three? It is five times is three and five, right? So this is one of the possible answer. If it's just about the possible answer that the summation goes to 20, right? I can also say that I can move five to any of the point. Let's say five is here and then we have three, 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 right? Then also the sum is 20, right? But this would be a valid permutation. This will be a valid permutation, not a valid com combination. So that's why we will ignore this case. Now, having this in mind, definitely we have to use recursion to use this case possibilities to explore. Karna hoga. But having this thing in mind, that we have to remove the permutation, how will our recursive call be? Let's say we have a function of n, right? At the first stage, we will make a call for function of n minus 3, we will make a call for function of n minus 5, and then we will make a call for function of n minus 10. Now, a question goes to you, can I make three recursive calls in all the uh, above branches for n minus 3, n minus 5, if I will do n minus 3, n minus 5, n minus 10 for each and every branches, I would say no. For n minus 3, I will I will definitely call for n minus 3, function of n minus 5 and function of n minus 10, right? But function of for n minus 5, I will not call for 3. I will just call for itself and then move ahead in the next direction. Similarly, for n minus 10, I will not call for 3, I will not call for 5 and I will just call for n minus 10. Because if you have n-3 to call kar diya se, n-5, then what will happen in that case? This will be the case. It will be permutation bhi form. Ho Matlab, I want 3 and 5 as my answer which sums up to 8. Right? But I don't want 5 and 3 as my answer which sums up to 8. This is not what So that is why, when I called n-3, then from point, as far as the moves are called, similarly 5. Ke liye, 5 se le kar ke aage jitne bhi moves are called, 5 and 10 are called. Similarly 10. Ke liye, 10 is a small move, so 10 is called. Right? But this would <clears throat> this would be your what to say an exponential solution, right? That for each and every branch you are deciding to take that element and to not take that element, right? So हम यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे यार इससे अब recursion when we when we want to optimize the recursion then definitely हमें DP use करना होता है, right? Because there are overlapping sub problems, correct? जैसे कि यहाँ देखो f of n minus y को solve किया यहाँ पे भी n minus y repeat हो रहा है, correct? As, ये तो सिर्फ छोटे टेस्ट केस के लिए था अगर आप ट्रांस इफ यू कीप ऑन एक्सपैंडिंग द ट्री वी कैन सी मल्टीपल सब प्रॉब्लम्स डीपी के लिए हम क्या करेंगे हम एक डीपी आरए बनाएंगे ऑफ n plus 1 n plus 1 का बनाएंगे n क्या दे रखा है हमारे पास 10 सो विल मेक 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 एंड 10 9 एंड 10 तो इनिशियली द वैल्यूज विल बी मार्क्ड एज़ 0 राइट ओनली द फर्स्ट वैल्यू वुड बी मार्क्ड एज़ 1 आई विल लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाई इट इज़ 1 so what I am saying that dp, dp of 0 is 1. So what are the possible number of answers, right? What are the possible number of combinations we can make for the sum 0? I can clearly say if I just take an empty set, no numbers in it, that would give me the sum 0. So that is why 1 is the answer for the 0th entry. And let us now start iterating for 3. Now first we need to complete the answer for 3, right? Then for 5 and then for 10 to avoid the permutation forming, right? So we'll have a for loop, we'll have explicit for loop going for 3, going from 3 to i equals to 3 to i less than equals to n and i plus plus, right? And we'll keep on marking as dp of i is plus equals to dp of i minus 3, right? So we will come here and I will see 3 minus 3 is 0, right? So I will use the answer from here and I will say this would also become 1. Similarly for 4, I will use the answer from 1, but eventually the overall sum would be 0. Similarly for 5, the answer would be taken from 2. For 6, the answer will be taken from 3 and this will update to 1 and similarly 9 entry would also be updated to 1, right? Here is 9, what is it? dp of 9, 
equals to one. What does it mean? It means that if you use only a move which has three in it, right? Then these are the number of these are the number of combination you can form nine, right? There is only one combination if you use three and form nine. This is the deep, that's the definition of DPO five which is denote, denoting here. Similarly, for five we'll do it. We'll go from i equals to five to less than n i plus plus. And instead of DP of i minus 3, we'll call it for DP of i minus 5. So 5 again will point to 1. Similarly, 6, 7, 8 will not be changed. Right? Or will it be? For 6, I'll take the value from 6 minus 5, which is 1. It's 0. For 7, 7 minus 5, it's 2 again, 0. For 8 minus 3, it's 1. So 8 will be 1 here. Right? So DP of 8, it, it suggests DP of 8 that the value is 1 and you can form the subset as 3,5. Correct? Similarly, 9 minus 5 will give you 4, 10 minus 5 will give you 5 and this would be updated as 1. Now let us update for the last that is i equals to, we'll start from i equals to 10, go to less than equals to 10 and i plus plus. So we'll start from here and we'll update this as, so 10 minus 0 will give you 0, dp of 0 is 1, so I'll update this as 2 and at the, at, uh, at the final answer we'll just update, we'll just return a dp of n and that would be our answer. Right? Okay, and what would be the time and space quantity for this code O of n because we are iterating three times here you can see 3 to n, 5 to n and 10 to n. So uh, or you can say strictly 3n but ignoring the constant would be O of n and space complexity again it would be O of n. Great, let us see the exact code. So that would be the exact code which I just explained to you and uh, I don't think there is much left to explain so let's just see the code in action. Yes, several test cases have been passed using this code. So let us meet again in the next video. Till then, keep learning, keep going, bye bye, and take care. And if you like the video solution problem and everything, please do like, share, and subscribe. Till then, keep learning, keep going, bye bye, and take care.